But we begin tonight with the latest on Gabby Petito. The 22-year-old vanished on a cross-country road trip with her boyfriend. That boyfriend, Brian Laundry, is not talking to police, and he's also not talking to the FBI. Tonight, we have some new information about an incident involving this couple and police just weeks before Gabby's disappearance. The two were in Utah at the time, and investigators say neither Gabby nor her boyfriend, Brian, called 911. Here is what we know right now about the timeline of this trip. The couple left New York on July 2nd, stopping in Kansas before pushing west into Colorado and Utah. That is where this latest incident happened. Police were called. The trip continued. About two weeks later, Gabby called home to tell her family she and Laundrie were in Grand Teton National Park, and that was the last time they heard from Gabby. It would be another two weeks before she was reported missing. News Nation correspondent Brian Enton is live in Northport, Florida tonight, where the couple was living prior to this road trip. Brian, a lot of new details coming out today. What are police telling you at this hour? Well, the big thing with police right now is they are just frustrated that Gabby's boyfriend still will not talk to them. We know the boyfriend's parents are inside this house right here behind me. It's believed the boyfriend could be in there, too. And you mentioned it. New today, we learned about an incident involving the couple, couple that the police were called to just days before she was reported missing. Brian's stretching, doing some... Morning yoga. Still no sign of 22 year old Abby Petito, who vanished on a van trip across the country with her boyfriend Brian Laundry. And as the multi state investigation heats up, police in Northport, Florida say Laundry is now officially a person of interest. At this point, has he talked to police at all? No. And how frustrating is that? It is 100% frustrating. I mean, the fact that we have somebody who may have been the last person who's seen her, who has specific details on her potential whereabouts. <laughs> the couple looked so happy in their social media videos, but according to just released police reports, a witness called 911 in Moab, Utah on August 12th for a possible domestic violence in progress. The officer who approached the couple in the van said Gabby was in the passenger seat crying uncontrollably. Brian told police both suffered from a condition blacked out in the report, and months of travel together created emotional strain between them and increased the number of arguments. The officer decided it was not a domestic assault, but a mental health crisis. In the end, officers separated the two for the night, finding Brian a hotel and leaving Gabby with the van. Tonight, the van is in a police garage, and Gabby's dad is trying to stay positive. Right now, we're only focusing on getting her home. Oh, you know, I know how some of these stories end, and I understand that. I'm not, I'm, that's, but to me, in my head right now, a phone's dead, broke, lost, taken, whatever. She's wandering the woods because she can't find her bearings. Some of Gabby's family members are on the way to Wyoming to search as frustration mounts that her boyfriend will not talk. We've been outside Brian's house when the parents come and go, they rush and go, they don't talk to anyone, no one's talking to the police. I mean, why aren't the parents and Brian out saying, please, let's find Gabby? I'll, I'll let you make those assumptions on what you think that means and says. And we asked police today if they know where Brian Laundry is right now. They said they have an idea, but they're not tracking him minute by minute. They are just hoping someone comes forward with a tip to help them find Gabby. Marnie.